Yeah, we're here for the World Enduro Series, number two of the season. I felt confident coming into national champs, felt really good on my downhill bike. Coming into finals and I slashed this turn and the front wheel just carried on the main line. I went down. Hello, who is this? Stevie! Cappuccino Steve! My head nearly hit the dirt then. If you finish this top 10 in this race, I think it's a guarantee to go to world champ. So the week of the seventh now with the world young leader, that is why he has the left the four riders. That's for sure. I want to be dead. Oh man, I've got no idea where Steve could be. Hold on. Excuse me, girl, excuse me. Excuse me, mate. Have you seen Steve? Steve. Steve. You know, know Steve? We don't know Steve. Fuck's sake, me neither. Cheers, anyway. Thank you. Oh man, I can't find Steve anyway. Check Starbucks for cappuccino. Hey, cappuccino! Cheers, Peter, I've got to do your pound. My first memory of meeting Rat Boy would be when he was just a little rat. I remember him being 12. I think that's because he was lying about his age so he could get in the races earlier. I think the first time we properly met was at the, at the MBUK Masterclass in Wancliffe. And he was this tiny little skinny ratty kid. He was by far the best out of a lot of them. He was just so natural on a bike jumping off these little things, just having fun, and uh, anything that I threw at him, he just did so easily, and yeah, it was a fun day. His personality then, he was, he was pretty shy, to be honest. I used to be so shy around him, because he was, <laughs> you know, he wanted Steve Pete, and it's like... He just let his, his riding really do the talking and stuff. I just used to get really shy, because he was, you know, meeting you, meeting your hero kind of thing. I think it was that year I won I won my first race. Steve came back from America. He bought me back a race kit with him and sort of gave me this race kit as like a well done kind of thing, like a bonus. And uh, it absolutely just, it was, it was well cool. <laughs> it meant so much to me. At first it was just more of a, a, on a friendly basis, we'd just help him out with a few bits and, uh, and then like you see how good he was and how much fun he was to hang around with, so we, we got him on the team. Forget how he worded it, it was so casual. He's like, oh, so um, you don't fancy riding for me next year, do you? Or something like that. <laughs> so chill, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> After we'd been together for so many years, I didn't really want to see him go somewhere else and, and not get the support that he needed. So I've always tried to be, I've always tried to help him when it's come to sort of contract time or or working out what, what he wants to do in his career. Steve's done stuff he doesn't even know about, you know. Just inspiring me and you just watch him and learn on and off the track. Like. I definitely say over the years we have our little ups and downs. I get pissed off with him sometimes. It's through love but I've been like, oh Steve, piss off. <laughs> and I know he probably hates me at times when I tell him certain things. <laughs> but it, but like, um, um, what was the question? I always want more for him, so I do kind of, it, it is like he's the son I've never had. More of a pet, it's like a pet rat. <laughs> <laughs> My little pet rat. <laughs> You're here with Rat Boy at Anglesey Circuit. Do 
doing a bit of uh, drifting. Whee! First few rounds, by my standard, um, have absolutely sucked. To be honest, um, I've learned a lot, and the results haven't been how I hoped. But I've had a mint year so far. Of, of, you know, some. <laughs> oh, <my hands. laughs> you won't even look at me, and your grin is just growing at the same rate as mine. <laughs> And yeah, this season so far hasn't really panned out the way um, I was hoping it might, but there's still a few races left, and uh, I'm, you know, I want it more than ever. Had a wicked morning practice. Um, <clears throat> had to change my bike a little bit from Andorra. Obviously, different gradients of track and so on. So, track running men, all the ruts are just like hold you so well. There's so much traction, you can just slap shit. So, yeah, having fun. A bit of a mechanical issue in my run, right up at the top as well. Like I um, just railed my normal line just hard. I was riding pretty aggressively. I heard a couple of spokes blow, and I was like, "Oh shit!" So I sort of backed off a little bit. Then I went into the rocks, and it gave up. So party over. Fireworks, lad. So obviously we were in Canada already and he said he got a month off work or something. So I was like, why don't we go and make a bit of a holiday of it in Whistler and do some riding and just uh, enjoy ourselves for a week. So yeah, off we went. Whistler! Whistler is coming from England is absolutely mind blowing. It's got a lot of everything. <laughs> everything is just mental. <laughs> the riding's ridiculous. The weather's generally nice, apart from we had a bit of a shit time. Birds are just <laughs> rude. <laughs> and yeah, it's just a mega place, absolutely mega. Rat boy, slope style edition.
Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call my f***ing left side mid-air dismount. Do you know what would be f***ing sick? To land into there. That'd be sick. Oh my god. Come on, lad! Whoa. Yeah! Woo! Oh. <laughs> 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 Woo! That was fucking <laughs> Big train on with these idiots, and it's just like <laughs> big jump, you know, big whip. You don't know where to look. It's not like you're coming up, and there's just people carving every direction. You're like, ah! I plan for a week was pretty much just to. Um, do a good bit of riding on my downhill bike and keep a bit of training going for world champs. When I decided not to race Canadian Open, it was like, what are the other options we can do? And we had to go up to Heckler's Rock, really. <laughs> the crowd were going mental, and we rode down and into it, and it, oh, it was hilarious. Through the past few years, it's gone absolutely massive. People get there, and you're not allowed your top on on the rock, so you've got to take your shirt off. You tell me. <laughs> You've got the Stevie Smith chant going for a few of the wrong people, <laughs> and then Stevie Smith come through, and the crowd went nuts. Was wrong. <laughs> Canadian Open, drank yeah. well. I think in five years' time, the way the rat's going at the moment, he's going to build himself a nice little colony. Mini rats running around all over. <laughs> uh. In five years' time, that little fucker better have won a world championship. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's the most random thing I've ever seen. Tandem horses and shit. <laughs> like an extra long horse. <laughs>
<laughs> People still don't even... Is that a good gorilla? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit.